Gentlemen, welcome once again to the Mindset. This is the second program in a list of programs I'm going to be doing with you, teaching poor people how we can self-sustain ourselves. We can survive half a little or nothing. In my left hand, ladies and gentlemen, is a plastic bag. And in this plastic bag is nothing but one dollar coin. All these one dollar coins that, that I have in this bag, ladies and gentlemen, I pick them up off the ground. Everywhere I go, I keep my eyes on the ground like I am a beggar, ladies and gentlemen. And I picked up every one dollar coin that a lot of poor people have thrown away because they believe a one dollar coin cannot do anything. But ladies and gentlemen, when you save one dollar coin and then it becomes twenty dollar and then when it becomes fifty and a hundred and then if you put that together with your friend, one dollar coin, enough something on the candle collectively. The Honorable Marcus Garvey done show we all if you use your mind. Big stone is gonna show you again you must use your mind. Look at this. Let's take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Watch it come up. Watch it come up. All this, I picked it up. Picked it up, ladies and gentlemen, off the street. All, nothing but one dollar coin. That poor people, sometimes they go to the supermarket, they don't want to take them back. Sometimes they go to the Western Union and they give them these coins and guess what? They cannot deal with that because the one dollar kind of man or nothing I just demonstrated to you that four months ago I didn't have one of those coins and four months later ladies and gentlemen I have thousands of these coins Jamaica the population is about three million people now if every single Jamaican rich or poor bend down and look on the ground I'm sure you must find a one dollar coin lying on the ground that somebody have thrown away or lost and if we can just pick up that coin and we put those coins together for one day a population of three million will have three million dollars if it's a one dollar coin three million dollars and if we do this every day until it reach seven days seven times three you know the maths is 21 so in one week every Jamaican pick up one coin so that means for the end of the week you as a single Jamaican would have seven coins seven one dollar coins but when we put that together times three million it becomes 21 million in seven days 21 times two is 42 million times four is 84 million so in one month we can pick up 84 million dollars I'm just trying to figure out a way how we're going to collect this money, ladies and gentlemen. Because we can sustain ourselves. First, what we have to do also is spend our money among our own people. Spend our money with the poor man who's just starting up his shop. Spend your money with people who will give you credit. Spend your money with people who, if something is wrong and your baby needs sick, you can call upon them and they'll be there for you. You may can stop being bad mind because a lot of people because Johnny Buck 2 started a shop. They don't want Johnny Buck 2 to rise in the community. And they, they become uh, envious, greed and envy. But if we can just see Johnny Buck 2 shop rising in the community, in your own community, you know how beautiful that would be? And Johnny Buck 2 would be in a position now that if you need help, he's going to help you because he can afford to. He made all this money from you. A lot of people come into your community, ladies and gentlemen, and they make a lot of money. At the end of, at, uh, at the, end of the day, where do they live? Where do they go to the church? Where do they go to party? Can you ask them for any assistance? So, Jamaica, we're a wealthy country. I've said this many times, we're a land of wood and water and plenty of honey. Jamaica's a wealthy country. Wealthy country. So I'm asking you just to live together, save together, start the partner dryer when we just show you. Pick up any one dollar coin where you have and send them to me. I'm going to distribute it. We'll go into the community and fix an old woman house. 
University's $3 million can fix up a poor community. And it only costs $7 to every single Jamaican. We could go another partner then, man. What could you show you say? The Honorable Marcus Garvey said, once you lack confidence, you're twice de defeated in the race of life. But with confidence, you're won before you even start. Put your two cents together. Put your two dollars together. Buy Jamaica, for Jamaica, shop Jamaica, build Jamaica, and start fight Jamaica. Look on it. Either Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day.